guys and welcome back to my channel. So I recently posted a video where I prepped two rather large crushed ammonites that I had found. Now today's video is going to be similar but I'm going to be prepping another ammonite that I found from the same place. So I've already started this one but it's been turning out so beautifully that I've decided to film a video. Hence, hello. Um, so this is what it looks like currently. So you can see a lot of the ribs are getting exposed as I flick off more and more of the layers. So to flick it off I'm just using a nice sharp scalpel like this and it literally cuts like cake, it just flicks right off so it's quite satisfying when you know a big bit comes off. But what was cool about this ammonite is I actually found it poking out. So. You can kind of see this edge here is very smooth so that's because the sea was attacking it and that's why this ammonite is no longer whole so it's missing a slight part of the outer whirl here but most of it's there so I'm not too bothered about that but I saw this edge bit so you can see the kind of the white squiggle there so there was more layers on top of this piece but last night I got a bit carried away and I decided to you know just poke it with my scalpel and the layers just flicked off it was marvellous so I'm really sorry I didn't catch it on camera and then I just got carried away and kept prepping it and a few hours later we were at this stage so here I am I'm trying to make up for it to show you guys what it looks like now so this is where I'm at, so I've still got quite a few hours to go on this one I think because this outer whirl here is completely covered still but you can see the ribbing coming through maybe slightly so it's looking really lovely and I really love the contrast between these you know dark grey rocks and white shell ammonites so we're gonna keep going and I'm gonna take you guys with me so I'll try and move my camera so you can actually watch me flick a bit off it's quite hard to do at the moment because I'm filming in my garage I don't have you know all my nice equipment and it's not very easy to get it out here where I can like tilt it down and actually see what I'm doing still so I'll work on that and maybe then I can do some time-lapse videos for you guys but for now we're just gonna have to work with this so I'll flip you guys over so you can have a look Thank you. 
this is what it looks like after a fair bit of work on it and I think it's cleaning up really really nicely um, there's still quite a bit of work to do because I want to try and get as much of the grey off as I can but overall I think that looks fabulous so I don't think it'll be too much longer before I put some paraloid on this one it's a shame about this section here I'm pretty sure I whacked that with my hammer when I was getting it out the rock um, because it's kind of like this little trench here and I'm just I just know that was probably me just being a bit heavy-handed but overall I think it looks amazing so I'm really excited to see this one finished but I thought I would give you guys an update and hopefully the next update will be us ready for Paraloid so guys we are ready for the Paraloid so I've made up the solution here so it's ready to be put on the ammonite but the ammonite needs a tiny bit more work. When I say the ammonite, it's actually the surrounding rock. So this is what it looks like. So I want to try and clean up some of the bits around the edges so it blends more. Because if you look, this is still a lot higher, which isn't a problem. I just want it to blend into the fossil rather than you can kind of see all my stab marks. Um, so I'd like to do that and then maybe clean up a tiny bit more on the shell of the ammonite. But I think it looks fabulous as it is and I really don't want to risk damaging it because I'm already really happy with the way it's looking so you know less is more and I don't want to you know remove the whole fossil so yeah paraloid is reversible so I'm not too bothered if you know there's a bit on it that really annoys me I'll take some acetone dissolve the paraloid and do it you know like it's it's not impossible to revisit this fossil so yes I'm going to clean some of the excess matrix so I'll flip my camera around so you can watch me do that because it's so satisfying like you can just cut this rock with a scalpel like it just shaves like I've been having way too much fun doing it so I'll flip it around so you guys can enjoy it too um, and then we'll paint some paraloid on I'm just gonna move that out of the way so I don't flick it off the table um, so if you watch it literally just shaves shaves away so I'm not going to talk whilst I do this just in case I, you know, shave off the fossil trying to focus on more than one thing at once. I'm not very good at that. So let's do this. Okay, so I've cleaned up the edge bit a little bit. It's still, you know, not perfect, but I think it's nice enough for what I want. So now before I put the paraloid on, you can see there's this gap here that I think I caused when I actually got this out of the rock on the beach. Um, I don't know for certain, but it, it looks like a hammer whack, but we will see. But anyway, I've got some bits of shell here that have broken off, you know, other, other shells I've been um, prepping from the same location. And I want to see if I can kind of, you know, stick them on and make it seem like they're meant to be there. So this is technically cheating, but we're just gonna, we just want it to look pretty. So we're gonna have a go. So I'm just gonna try and make up like a jigsaw piece that almost fits. That piece looks good there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to be kind of white. So that doesn't look bad. I think if I glued that... Oh, I've just broken the shell. <laughs> They're so fragile, these pieces. So it is a crushed ammonite, so I think this might work. If I don't crush all these pieces. So let's have another go. We're ready for paraloid now. I'm going to put some thicker paraloid in this section here. Just make sure there's nothing looser. 
um, to then stick some of these other pieces on. It's a risk doing this, but I think it makes a difference with how it looks. So I'm just gonna... The thicker sort of paraloid glue I find is at the base of this jar. So I'm gonna take some of that and we're just gonna put some in this gap here. Like so. And then we're gonna put these ones on. Okay, she is done. So I've just put a nice coat all over and I think you can't really even notice my little jigsaw I made. Like I think it blends in quite well. And um, so I'm really chuffed with that. And I did put some down the base here. You can see the darker shade just because it looked quite weak along the base of the shell. And I thought when I display it, you know, I'll if I can pick it up one handed, you know, it will be displayed like that. So I didn't think it would show um, and it just gives it a bit of extra strength. but. I think it's turned out perfect. Like I'm so chuffed with my little jigsaw, like I would never even, th when I look at it obviously it looks like that bit's been a bit more crushed, but it doesn't look like it wasn't meant to be there, so I think I nailed it. But yeah, so that's how this one looks. So I am so happy, like I love it. So that's today's video, I am so happy with how it turned out, I mean it will never focus on it if it's got my face in it. Hello camera! There you go. I mean, look at that. I think it's turned out beautiful. Considering this one was literally sam sandwiched in rock, I think it's come out quite well. I'm quite proud of myself. So I am obsessed with this one. I think that just looks perfect. Like, I love it. And I like my little jigsaw piece, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know, I sacrificed one to fix another, it's just how it goes. But that's today's video, I really do hope you enjoyed, if you did please like and subscribe. I'll link my Instagram down below as well if you'd like to follow me on there. Um, and I do have a Twitter actually, so I'll link that down below as well. I don't really use Twitter, but um, I've been told it's a good thing to start using, so I'm trying. So I'm trying, so if you have Twitter you can check me out on there as well and try and teach me how to use it because just I'm, you know, I can use technology, but I haven't nailed Twitter yet, so I'm gonna try and get into it. Try, try. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching!